stop the FOMO. Today we go over the best streaming TVs from $250 to $4,500, from 50 inches to 100 inches. These are the best streaming TVs of 2023. So whether you're watching YouTube, Netflix, or sports, we have the right TV models for you at your budget. And remember, the TVs I'm recommending today are streaming TVs, TVs you use to watch TV shows, sports, Netflix, YouTube, and the like. And are they easy to navigate through all the menus and settings? So the TVs we have today are all either going to be Google TV, Samsung's Tizen, or LG's WebOS. But if you prefer Roku, you are only $29.99 away from making it happen. Also, if I leave out certain TV models or brands, it's not because they're not great TVs. It's just that I don't think they are a great deal. However, that brings to mind the prices keep on changing. For example, the Hisense 100-inch U8K. Start off at 5000 just two weeks ago, then it dropped to 4500 then 4000 and then $29.99. And now it's back up to $39.99. So don't forget to subscribe to be alerted of these price drops as soon as I post them. Now, before we get into my list of the best streaming TVs of 2023, a word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Best Buy for all your holiday TV buying needs. Ready to upgrade your old TV to something bigger and better? Here are my favorite TV deals with the best image quality for the dollar. If you're on a budget, my favorite 55 inch TV deal is $259.99 for the TCL S4, which is perfect for basic TV and sports watching, including streams of your favorite shows. Or ready to go crazy with the first 98 inch TV in your neighborhood? For just under 3,000, this TCL S5 is an easy recommendation that's better than any flagship projector costing 10 times more because you can watch this TV when the lights are on. Speaking of value, my favorite value is definitely the 75 inch Hisense U7K mini LED TV for $899.99, which brings both immersive size and HDR impact to the table. Highly recommended for those dipping their toes into HDR for the first time. But just a little bit more gets you the Sony 65 inch TV with XR Clear. Yes, I'm talking about the X90L for $999. This deal has me drooling because you guys saw how impressed I was with it after my side by side review of the X90L against my favorite mini LED of 2023, the TCL QM8. Now, if your budget is less than 900, say 897, but you want something a lot bigger, then I recommend the 85 inch Samsung CU7000. It's a solid 85 inch TV for everyday watchers of TV shows, sports, and streaming. But if you want true HDR impact with infinite contrast, let's talk about affordable OLED TVs. And I've got two for you. The 48-inch LG A2 at 549 is the perfect bedroom companion. It's compact and does everything right for late night streaming before bed. Now, if you need larger, how about the 77-inch LG B3? That's $17.99. This is the best OLED bang for the buck, giving you both HDR impact and gaming features for cinema enthusiasts who happen to also have a PS5 or Xbox Series X. Remember to check prices frequently because they will go up and down between now and the end of the year. Starting with the smallest and most affordable TV for streaming on this list, that is the TCL Q5. It is my most affordable TV with QLED technology, which gives you the most vibrant and saturated colors, perfect for streaming the latest Netflix shows. Now, if you need bigger, the TCL Q5 does come in a 65 inch for $399.99. But if you want a familiar brand like LG, then the 55 inch UQ70 is only $299, going up to $579.99 for the 75 inch. If you need an affordable, 85 inch that does all the basics right, the Samsung CU7000 for $897, which is easily a great price for this size. Also, you'll notice that I didn't mention Sony TVs yet at this price point, mostly because they are a bit expensive for basic streaming. For example, the 50 inch Sony X77L is $449, while the Q5 is $249. Does the Sony Tax offer $200 better image quality? Nope, but if you're a Sony loyalist, you know what you want from a Sony. Sony Color, Sony Motion, then of course, get the Sony. 
Now, these TVs I've mentioned so far are for basic TV watching. There is no HDR impact. Sure, they kind of show HDR content, but really it's for old TV shows, sports, news, you know, you're not into that highest end quality HDR or Dolby Vision. For that, we must go up one more price tier. That slight price bump to $479.99 for the 55-inch Hisense U7 gets you true HDR punch that's lacking in the cheaper TVs. It also offers a 65-inch size for $699 and a 75 inches only $899. Now, I know the TCL Q7 is similarly priced and my preference when I reviewed them side by side because I felt that the Q7 had better contrast. However, that was because I was using some of the best sources Kaleidoscape, 4K Blu-ray disc. But if you're streaming, I think the U7 has better processing, image processing, more settings for motion that you could tune to your taste. So for you guys, I would suggest starting with the U7. But let's say you're ready to enter into the near flagship performance. We enter that rarefied world with the 55-inch Hisense U8K for $699. No other 55-inch TV offers this level of HDR performance for the dollar and is highly recommended if your cutoff is $699. If you can bump your budget to $899, I'll tell you why in a second, you're going to get a bigger jump in performance. At the 55-inch size is the Sony X90L, easily my favorite budget LCD TV because it has XR Clear that cleans up streaming low bitrate content better than any other TV processor I've seen this year. And the XR Clear is included on the X90L, the X95L, and the Sony A75L OLED, the A80L OLED, and the A95L OLED. But for an extra 100, you get the 65-inch Sony X90L for $99,999. 999, just under $1,000, right? So between the 899, 65-inch Hisense U8K, I would go with an extra $100 more and get the Sony X90L for 999. I compared it with the Kiyomate and the U8K, and ultimately the X90L is so good, especially after cleaning up streaming content, that I prefer the motion, color, and image quality of the Sony X90L. I'm also going to stop right now demarcate this point as the point of diminishing returns. Up to this point, 999, Sony X90L, 65 inches. To get better, we're going to have to jump a bit more. An extra $100 doesn't do it. An extra $200 does not do it. We're talking a few hundred dollars to significantly improve on your image quality with one exception. That is the 100-inch Hisense U8K for $29.99. Well, it dropped to $29.99 a few days ago. And this is such an amazing deal. The immersion, yes, XR Clear is great, but at 98 inches, the Sony X90L with XR Clear is like $8,000, $79.99. And the U8K at less than half that price, definitely, definitely recommend it because as good as the Sony X90L is, it's not worth twice as much. But now, jumping beyond the point of diminishing returns, we get into OLED. That pricing jump takes us to $12.99 for the Samsung S90C QD OLED TV. This is the bomb for both gaming and streaming. Colors are bright and vibrant, just phenomenal, easy one of my favorite TVs of 2023. Now, if you need 65 inches at $12.99, well, I suggest looking at the LG B3, which also offers top spec gaming features, but the HDR impact is just a step behind the S90C because it's not as bright. The B3 is recommended for light controlled rooms, whereas the S90C perfectly fine for brighter rooms. But if you're considering the B3, then the better buy is to go up to the 77 inch LG B3 for $17.99 currently. On the other hand, if you are thinking of paying a little more, just a little more for the best streaming OLED TV of 2023, that would be the Sony A80L. This is the streaming TV of 2023. It may not have the gaming impact of the S90C, but it cleans up streaming images better than any other TV, short of its own flagship QD OLED, the Sony A95L, which is almost twice as much, but not twice the performance. The A80L starts at $13.99 for the 55-inch and stretches up to 83 inches for $44.99.
And if you're wondering how far should you sit from an 83-inch TV from maximum immersion at a reasonable distance, seven to eight feet gets you there. Boom. So if you're seven to eight feet away from a TV, look at an 85 or 83-inch TV and you get that maximum immersion without being too close for comfort. Also, check out our live stream right here where Brian explains why he chose the 83-inch Sony A80L over the 83-inch LG G3 or the 77-inch Sony A95L. Now, did I miss anything? Did I miss your favorite TV? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, stop the FOMO.